Cubs opening night for the Norfolk Tides against the Toledo Mud Hens. As you can see, this is Harbor Park. It's down on the Elizabeth River. So I haven't seen anybody hit it into the river in right field. Um, here's a the color guards taking the field for opening day. Um, the firefighters from Chesapeake, Virginia, presenting the flag. It was also first responders night at Harbor Park. Some of the Norfolk Tides heading out to warm up. Now here, these are the Toledo Mud Hens warming up on the third base side. I like to go down there and stand in the first row. Um, so when they head back into the dugouts, I can try and get an autograph. This is actually a picture of me getting my first autograph of the season. It's Daz Cameron, the number five rated prospect from the Tigers. He's also Mike Cameron's son which you all might be familiar with him. Now here's the um, Norfolk Tides warming up before the first inning. We were in the front row of our section on the first base side. They're in the second deck. Um, the Tides dugout is first base side. So we like to sit over there. You can see the river out there. It's also a party deck in right field. Now you've got the uh, Mud Hens getting ready to step in for the first pitch of the season. Luis Ortiz is on the mound for um, the Tides. He's pitched some for the Orioles. That's going to be a strike. Always a good start to the season when you get a strike. Now here you'll see this ball doesn't carry very far. The wind was blowing in extremely, um, which kept a lot of balls down, which really hurt the hitters but really helped the pitchers. Um, there's Ryan Mountcastle at the plate, one of the Orioles' top prospects. He played in the Futures game last year. One of the players who really benefited was Bo Burrows. He's the number six prospect from the Tigers. Um, I'll show you some of his stats um, from this game, and you know, you'll be surprised at just how solid he was. He's been solid all season, um, had really good live stuff on his fastball the breaking ball was doing well um, for as young as he is I think he's going to have a pretty good career in Detroit now here this is God Bless America the Tides installed new LED lights this year they they can actually make them red and blue which is pretty cool I'll leave you with uh, the audio from God Bless America and then we'll do a, a recap of all the autographs I was able to get tonight <laughs> To the prairies, to the oceans, when we go, God bless America, my home sweet home, from the mountains. Now I know everybody's curious about how I did as far as the autographs went from opening night. First off, I'll show you. I got Ryan Mountcastle, Orioles prospect on the Future Scheme program. I already had Nate Lowe and Justice Sheffield sign it. The goal is to eventually get all of them. Those are the only three I have so far. I also got, actually let me hold them up, two Anthony Santander. The 18 Series 2 in the 18 Heritage High number. Got Jack Reinheimer. We have a... Let me clear it up here. A custom. And we got two of the 2018 update. Got Jacob Brugman. Tops Crown. Nice signature. We got three different Luis Ortiz. Really like that signature. There's a 14 draft. Heritage Miners. And here's 19 Donruss, which you guys probably saw me pull from that fat pack. We got Chris Bostic. This is a beautiful card. Gabriel Yanoa Stadium Club. Got uh, Chance Cisco, which I'll say his in-person autograph is terrible. He doesn't really push the pin down at all, but you take what you can get. Got Jace Peterson, 
Well, a couple cards. Story about the next one. Keegan Aiken was so bad. He didn't seem like he wanted to sign at all. As you can tell, you can't really see it. It's right here. He signed incredibly small on my custom. And he signed over the darkest part of the card. So from a distance, it doesn't even look signed. And he did that to pretty much everyone. Carlos Perez told me no. Said he couldn't tonight. He was he had to run. And that's how the evening started post game. So I was like, well, this is going to be great. And then you guys saw it earlier. The Dez Cameron. Then we got pregame. Pretty nice signature there as well. So not bad for the first day. Um, I'll be heading back again on Sunday uh, for post game to try and get a few more. And you can pretty much count on another video with how I did after that one.